Tipping has long been considered a gesture of appreciation for good service, particularly in countries where it is an expected practice. However, while tipping is common, it is not always mandatory. There are specific situations where withholding a tip may be appropriate or even expected. Understanding when it's okay not to tip helps navigate these situations with confidence while maintaining fairness for both the customer and the service provider. So, let's get started. 7 Times It's Okay Not to Tip Welcome to a low mode where life meets style. If you're looking for a place to unwind, learn, and grow, hit that subscribe button and join our incredible community. 1. Poor or inattentive service. Tipping is often seen as a reward for good service, but it is not an obligation when the service falls short of expectations. If a server is consistently rude, inattentive, or dismissive without a reasonable explanation, it may be acceptable to leave a reduced tip or none at all. For example, if the server ignores your table, provides incorrect orders, or fails to address concerns in a respectful manner, withholding a tip can be a way to reflect the quality of service. However, it's important to distinguish between poor service due to negligence and issues caused by external factors, such as being short-staffed or overwhelmed by a busy shift. In those cases, the service staff may not be at fault, and tipping may still be appropriate. If you decide not to tip due to poor service, it's often courteous to let management know about your experience. This ensures the situation can be addressed and that future customers receive better treatment. 2. Service fees already included. In some cases, a service fee is automatically added to your bill, making additional tipping unnecessary. This is especially common in restaurants for large parties banquet-style events, or in certain travel destinations where service charges are standard practice. When you see that service charge has been included, there's no obligation to leave an extra tip unless you feel the service was exceptional. These fees are designed to ensure that staff are compensated fairly, so the expectation for further tipping is reduced or eliminated. It's also worth noting that in some countries, service charges are built into the bill by default and tipping beyond that is not customary. In such scenarios, it's always a good idea to check your receipt carefully to avoid tipping unnecessarily when the fee has already been covered. 3. Self-Service Establishments In self-service establishments, tipping is generally not expected. These are places where customers perform most of the tasks themselves, such as ordering at a counter, picking up food, or clearing their own table. Examples include fast food restaurants, cafeterias, buffets, or coffee shops where service interactions are minimal. While many self-service venues may have a tip jar or include digital tipping options at the point of payment, these are often optional. You're not obligated to tip unless you feel that the staff went above and beyond in some way, such as offering extra help or showing exceptional friendliness. Since the level of service provided in these establishments is minimal, the expectation of tipping is typically much lower compared to full-service restaurants where waitstaff personally attend to your needs throughout your meal. Therefore, in most self-service environments, skipping a tip is perfectly acceptable. 4. Bad or unsafe conditions When dining or receiving service in an establishment where the conditions are poor or unsafe, it may be appropriate not to tip. This includes situations where cleanliness is visibly neglected, such as dirty utensils, unclean tables, or unsanitary food handling practices. Similarly, if the staff engages in unprofessional behavior such as handling food improperly, neglecting hygiene, or creating an uncomfortable atmosphere, then you may feel justified in not leaving a tip. These issues go beyond poor service and can compromise your health and safety, making it reasonable to hold back tips. In such cases, it's a good idea to inform management about the conditions or concerns. This can help the establishment address any serious problems, ensuring future customers have a better experience. 
While tipping rewards service, it is not expected when fundamental aspects of the experience like safety and cleanliness are compromised. 5. Countries where tipping is not customary. In some countries, tipping is not part of the cultural norm and can even be considered unnecessary or inappropriate. For example, in many Asian countries, service staff are paid fairly, and tipping is often viewed as unnecessary or even insulting. The quality of service is considered part of the job, and workers take pride in providing excellent service without expecting extra compensation from customers. Similarly, many European countries often have service charges automatically included in the bill, which covers the staff's wages. In these places, leaving an additional tip is not expected, though rounding up the bill or leaving small change may be appreciated in some situations. When traveling to countries where tipping is not customary, it's important to understand local customs to avoid misunderstandings. Attempting to tip in places where it's uncommon can sometimes lead to confusion, as service staff may refuse the extra money or find it awkward. In these regions, not tipping is completely acceptable and in line with the cultural practices. Always research tipping etiquette when traveling internationally to ensure that you are respectful of local norms and traditions. 6. Automated services or minimal interaction. In settings where service is largely automated or involves minimal human interaction, tipping is generally not expected. This includes situations like ordering food through a self-service kiosk, using an app for delivery or takeout, or purchasing from a vending machine. While some businesses may still prompt for a tip through digital payment platforms, it's perfectly acceptable to skip tipping when the level of service provided is minimal. The focus here is on the convenience and efficiency of automation rather than personalized customer service. However, if a staff member goes above and beyond, for example, ensuring a quick turnaround or addressing special requests, you may choose to leave a tip as a gesture of appreciation. But in most cases where service is automated, the expectation to tip is greatly reduced, making it acceptable not to leave any tip. 7. Cultural or personal beliefs Tipping is not universally practiced, and for some individuals, cultural or personal beliefs play a role in deciding whether to tip. In some cultures, tipping may be seen as an unusual or unnecessary practice, as service workers are paid fairly by their employers, making additional compensation from customers irrelevant. In places where tipping isn't the norm, such as some Asian or Scandinavian countries, not tipping is entirely acceptable and aligned with cultural practices. From a personal standpoint, some people choose not to tip because they believe that workers should be compensated directly through fair wages rather than relying on gratuities. This viewpoint is particularly common in regions where there is ongoing debate about wage fairness in the service industry. Some customers may feel that tipping reinforces an unfair pay structure and prefer not to participate in the practice. For those with strong cultural or personal beliefs against tipping, it's important to remain respectful and communicate clearly if necessary. If choosing not to tip in places where tipping is customary, it may be helpful to explain the decision, especially if service was good. Regardless, tipping should remain a choice based on individual values, cultural context, and the specific service provided. To sum up, understanding when it's okay not to tip is essential for navigating various service situations with respect and fairness. While tipping is a common way to reward excellent service, there are specific scenarios where it is acceptable to withhold tipping. Ultimately, tipping should reflect the quality of service and respect local customs. Being aware of these guidelines helps ensure that tipping decisions are both appropriate and considerate contributing to positive interactions between customers and service providers. So ladies, do you always tip? If no, then in what other circumstances do you decide not to do so? We'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments below. Thank you for tuning in, and if you enjoyed this content, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe for more discussions.